West Coast quakes are at the underwater volcanoes and the quake swarms are continuing. This is one of them at the Massif in the Pacific Ocean. This is a North Gorda Ridge volcano, as you can see the green little mountain, right off the coast of Oregon, California. And this is today's image by NOAA on Volcano Discovery, the MODIS satellite. We were lucky enough to have almost a clear sky. Most of the images were not available, uh, but we do have a few that don't have that much cloud cover as you can see here. Continuing from the Blanco Fracture Zone, we have the uh, at least 20 quakes there. The biggest being, well, a couple of them being about a 5.4 magnitude. We have the 5.6 off California, above Sacramento. And uh, today we had another one of a three magnitude east southeast of Aramas, California. And they're still continuing from north, from Oregon, all the way down to the south towards uh, south of San Diego, Los Angeles, San Diego, towards the Mexican border and even south of Tijuana with a 2.9. Of course, we also had 2.5 at a shallow depth in Paris, Idaho, which is right next to the Yellowstone supervolcano. But these are earthquakes that are in a, an area that have has suddenly had an uptick of earthquake activity plus the intensity of the earthquakes. The 4.1 that we had today was magnitude 4.1 west of Bandon, Oregon. So they're still continuing. And we had a 3.5 again today, nine kilometer depth, Nuevo Leon in Mexico. Plus the whole area of Mexico is rattling with earthquakes. And of course we have the Popo, the Popocatapetle volcano erupting, as well as Colima erupting. The whole of Mexico and uh, South, South America San Andreas Fault is really active. We've also had an earthquake uh, in Alaska, in the, the Aleutian Islands. We've also had a very unusual, that's, that exactly, that is a swarm actually, and still hopping. A swarm of continuous earthquakes today, about what, 4.5? Um, Ostrova region, Ostrov, Ostrov means, uh, I think it means uh, island in Russian, but it's at the western arc of the Aleutian Islands off the Kamchatka Peninsula. I would say, I don't know, if I'll leave you a link, I, I would say there's at least 100 earthquakes there. Uh, above the Nikolskoy Island, one, two, three, oh, I don't know. I would say there's 100, okay. 4.6 to God knows what. This one here, the latest is six, uh, magnitude 6.4 we had today. And also the fact that we had a volcanic eruption in uh, the uh, volcano, a Russian volcano that was spotted by the ISS astronauts who took pictures of it, images of it, and um, otherwise they would not have known that it was erupting as had previously been done by a pilot who was flying over the region and reporting in that there was an exploding volcano with a, an ash cloud and uh, having uh, airplanes steer, keep steer from their flight path from that volcano. So this, uh, today's volcano eruption is still going on. We made a video of that, the unexpected volcanic eruption captured by ISS astronauts, spectacular shots of the Raikoke ash cloud, right, Tokyo Volcano ash cloud. That is still erupting. So we have these tremendous amounts of earthquakes uh, off the Kamchatka Peninsula, 6.4 6 magnitude today. And we know that that area, if you make an L shape, 
uh, on the Pacific tectonic plate of the Pacific. It ends at the Hawaiian Islands, which are also rattling. They're also deforming upwards uh, from what the, okay, magnitude 2.6, that was today. That was the latest, but let's go into that. We're talking about the big island of Hawaii. Uh, we just had a tremendous amount of earthquakes and uh, they're on that is a 2.6 today depth of 45 kilometers that's on the lower east rift zone and uh, these are today's earthquakes all of them yeah anywhere from a 2 to a 2.6 lower east rift zone i would say there's a good what um, 15 earthquakes here. It will erupt. That's what they told us concerning Hawaii. It will erupt and people are on the alert. They're told to, to keep an eye out on their uh, uh, warnings, the county uh, volcano warnings from the county and also be alert in just in case they have to evacuate their areas. There is deforming rapidly, which means that the magma is starting to refill the chambers. We've also seen quakes in Mauna Loa. Well, we know that Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and the Loihi Seamount is just a straight line, uh, I would say, southwest, southeast. Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and Loihi, they, only, they all have one magma chamber with like three fingers sticking up. One finger is Mauna Loa, the middle finger is uh, Kilauea, and the third finger is the Loihi Seamount, which they claim will eventually grow and become an island of itself, just like the other islands of Hawaii, they're all volcanic islands. Now going back to the Gorda Ridge Volcano, that whole area is volcanoes, even the Blanco uh, Fracture Zone. Now we're talking, we have the image of the Gorda today. This is from Volcano Observatory. The image includes thermal anomalies from fires, volcanoes, red dots, etc. Some images might be broken or incomplete due to internal loading or server timeout issues. Okay, well, the one we have uh, today, today, it's just a, st a static picture. Uh, and the rest of them have tremendous cloud coverage. Okay, and uh, you do have red, the red dots. There are some red dots on the map. Uh, from fires, volcanoes, red dots, etc. Okay, now I hope they're not fires uh, or volcanoes because that means that those red dots are on the uh, San Andreas area, as you can see from the map. So we have a lot of uh, underwater volcanoes in the Pacific. This is at the Juan de Fuca plate, the axial volcano. So that whole area, as we know, is full of volcanoes. You usually have volcanoes wherever you have fractures. There's nothing new. Lava fields, volcanoes, cinder cones, uh, geysers, etc. Now, the, we remember what happened last November 11th, 1111. We had that huge worldwide quake that shook the earth for about 20 minutes. This is the one that uh, gave that earthquake, the largest underwater volcano, the Temu Massif in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, there's a lot of volcanoes underneath the water. We don't know what's going on because there's not that many people that uh, have the oceanographers and the feasibility, the uh, budgets to go and see what's going on down there, unless they know that there is activity down there to have specific uh, projects. Again, this is the one to Fuca played the axial volcano. And this is just about the area that is being recently uh, rattled by earthquake swarms off the west coast of California. And uh, the west coast is lucky up to now because when you compare it with the other huge geological activity that's been taking place around the uh, Ring of Fire, the Pacific Ring of Fire, the West Coast has been pretty lucky because even these quakes are offshore, thank goodness, but they still have been felt by people uh, in Oregon and California. 
Now, a lot of people have left me comments saying they haven't felt a thing. Well, maybe you were busy, maybe you were lucky, maybe you were asleep, you didn't feel anything, who knows? Uh, but you have to be aware that uh, the geologists are uh, somehow huddling together to see what this means. Because this is not a small thing. They started off with threes, 3.5s, 3 then they went up to about four, 4.5s. Now we're seeing they're up to five, 5.5, 5 5.6s. 5 and there are some people that believe that this is going to go up to a six, six point something. And this is one of the most dangerous earthquake zones in the world. It's a subduction zone, strikes slip faults, and these give the, uh, the super shear faults, and these give the biggest earthquakes in the world. Uh, you may have a supersonic boom, that means it's an earthquake, you have a couple of seconds to take cover before you have such a huge earthquake, the big one, that even pulverizes rock into dust. That's how big they are. So this is a volcano that we've had a recent picture of it's from Volcano Discovery, the satellite image. And you can see the west coast because we have this instant here. It didn't have that much cloud coverage. So we'll keep an eye out on this, what's happening. But they're continuing. Now, according to Volcano Discovery, the North Gorda Ridge Volcano, submarine volcano, at minus 9,842 feet, northeastern Pacific Ocean, at 42.64 degrees north and minus 126.78 degrees west, current status normal or dormant, one out of five. Background is that the northernmost of five segments of the Gorda Ridge lies immediately south of the Blanco Fault, the Blanco Transform Fault that offsets the Gorda and the Juan de Fuca oceanic spread ridges. The 65 kilometer long North Gorda Ridge segment is located about 200 kilometers west of the southern Oregon coast and has deep 5 to 10 kilometer wide valleys at either end with a shallower, narrow axial valley at the center. This morphology, which in, plan, in uh, plan, plan view resembles an hourglass, is typical of magmatically active spreading segments. A submarine lava flow has erupted in late February and early March of 1996 near the center of the North Gorda Ridge segment. The eruption was initially de uh, detected through acoustic T waves from a seismic swarm and the emission of large thermal plumes. In April, submarine cameras revealed new lava flows about 100 to two, uh, 200 meters wide along the fissure that was at least three and a half kilometers long. The seismic swarm of uncertain origin also occurred this location in January 1998. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.